Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to Iraq. Uh... <laughs> Hey there guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. My name is Gar from Arachnotube. Uh, today we're going to talk about the um, Heteropoda venatoria. So um, it's, I think, called the Pantropical Huntsman Spider. So this spider is mostly found in South America. So Belize, you know, the rainforesty type of places. But it has kind of been introduced by um, by shipping and stuff to Texas, to Florida, and um, it's out there. So hopefully so some of you guys who are living across the pond there have actually seen these without going you know, to the depths of the jungle. But what I've done is over this side of the room here, I've set up a, um, a butterfly net enclosure. It's a really weird one, and I wouldn't recommend it for tarantulas because tarantulas or will have the means to be able to um, tear the net. But this is good for this. I laid the on the floor with bra plast tubs, covered that in um, leaves, uh, leaf litter and uh, substrate. And then I nicked my missus's plant from downstairs. Uh, it's a peace lily, doesn't matter what plant is in it at all. Uh, I stuck that in there with a huge bit of bark that I actually found in a forest not too far away from here. Dried it out, make sure there's no kind of bugs on it. And then uh, I popped it in. Now, let's be really, really quiet. And I've got to, it might be a bit dark because uh, this species is kind of photophobic and it will teleport, it'll poof, gone. So if you want to see a bit more of this now, please hit that subscribe button. And tell me in the comments as well what spiders you own. Do you own the spider? Do you own any other kind of huntsman spiders? Um, let's go and check this out. Okay, so I switched to my phone. Okay, so this is going to be easier for me to get inside the cage. So let me show you first. Obviously, this is a butterfly cage. Okay. And sat then next to the window, obviously, just, just because of the plant that's in there. Now... I can see, you aren't going to be able to see through there, unfortunately, but I can see she's literally on the the bark at the back. Okay, so let's go in. Be really, really still and quiet. She's still there. Yeah, she is still there, right? So I'm just going to pop you in. So you're going in, I'm not going in. There she is there, right, so. So this spider will grow a little bit more than this. She's nice and plump there. And well, she's eaten about eight red runners, so I'm hoping that she's uh, nicely fed. What I will be doing, uh, unfortunately, is, is taking this, this enclosure apart because uh, I want to um, get some more of these and I want to um, make some giant enclosures and we can breed them. Now this is an actually captive bred, so even if this is a female, there's no kind of um, surprise egg sacs going to be coming my way. There's that piece that the was talking about. But I think it looks, it makes the place look like a, like a bit of a rainforest, you know, big green leaves. And then you come in and you can see her through the leaves. Look at that. That net enclosure is literally the craziest thing I've ever uh, wanted to do. 
I know it sounds sad, but it's a really simple enclosure inside a bonkers idea, if that makes any sense. Um, I think there's plenty more going to be coming out of here in uh, the, the near future. So that spider is uh, probably one of the fastest things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, if you think Postletheria or Pokey is fast, you have, an, you, you have no idea uh, of what, what speed is like. Thank you everyone. Um, I know I go on a lot, but if you want to support the channel, there's um, a Patreon and a YouTube membership. Lots of things happening. I'm doing that um, um, feature length DVD. So it'll be the Hidden Invert Highway, you probably see it on my, on my screen in the back there. And I'm well into planning that at the moment. So at the, right now, I've planned, got permission, and just waiting for COVID to uh, F off. Uh, for six species. There will be, on a couple of those species, there will be a couple of guests turning up as well. So people that you know, people that might, you might not know, but uh, are really, really knowledgeable about what, uh, what we're going to be targeting for. So until then, stay safe guys, take care.